His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, has a vision to show people a different perspective of Dubai. A city that lies beyond the landmarks and superlatives which have made global headlines. Using social networks and a simple hashtag, the Crown Prince invited residents and visitors to share their experiences of life in Dubai. What happened next was truly inspiring, with hundreds of thousands of people collaborating to create the world's first autobiography of a city. My name is Mohammed Parham Al Awadi, and I'm an Emirati filmmaker and an adventurer. Since 2013, my brother Payman and I have traveled the world exploring 24 countries on six continents as part of our travel show, Peter Planet. But this time, we're doing something a little different. We're joining the My Dubai Initiative and exploring our own city like we've never done before. We're calling it hashtag My Dubai Trip and we're bringing some people along for the ride. We're flying in 12 of the world's most influential Instagrammers to experience Dubai in 12 different ways. Then we're asking some of Dubai's most social media savvy residents to curate ultra-local itineraries for these visitors. Welcome to our home. Welcome to our Dubai. I'm Christina Tan. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm a part-time photographer specialized in travel and landscape photography. My name is Khaled Ramsi, and I'm a digital artist. And this is my Dubai trip. First thing with my schedule is uh, a Zorub restaurant. It's, uh, they uh, serve uh, traditionally uh, Lebanese food. Uh, for example, like uh, shawarma, falafel, and hummus. So uh, Khaled recommended that uh, we bring you to this restaurant. Uh -huh. It's a Zarub restaurant. A lot of people call it Middle Eastern food, but Middle Eastern is, I mean, the Middle East is so large. The type of food that they serve here is from the Levant area. So from like Lebanon, Jordan, Syria, Palestine. Uh, and they do like a sort of street style, like it's a street food. It's great, yeah. I mean, the place is nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fairly new and uh, as you can see, they're very modern in the way that uh, yeah, yeah, I can see the decoration that. and the architecture and everything is. Yeah. yeah, it's fun, lively, and the colors yeah. and stuff. So here's what I ordered, uh, full with tahina on top of it, so it's fava beans with tahina, uh -huh. um, hummus, hummus, and you've had falafel before. Yes. Yeah? Yes. So nice. everything that you see here, I mean, this is, this is like predominantly the, the regular things that people eat at, at breakfast. So I wanted you to try like a true Levantian breakfast. It's a, I mean, it's a great breakfast because norm, these days what people do is they eat like a cereal. Yeah. And the cereal is made out of corn or like wheat. It's very basic. Yeah, yeah. And it's tasteless. Yeah. Like for example, this dish, hummus, is chickpeas and sesame seeds. Both of them are superfoods. Yeah. There's lemon in there, there's garlic. Yeah. So it's just a great way to you know, start your day. But by the way, hummus, we have it throughout the day, so it's not just for breakfast. Oh, okay. Full, it's mostly for breakfast. Again, there's a ton of protein, there's carbs in there, so it'll keep you going. Yeah, oh, this is a pretty, like, balanced breakfast. Christina, how long have you been in, uh, into photography? Um, I started, like, around almost four years ago. I know that you, you were inspired by travel photography, but how, how would you, like, describe your style? My style, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, more into travel and uh, I love to give people a dream, you know, to dream to, even though you, are, you can't afford it, you don't know how to take pictures, but you have a dream to be able to do that, you know, to travel a lot, 
I love to give, uh, I mean, it's some kind of motivation for them. You know? I mean, the other thing that I love about your page is also you share other people's amazing pictures. So you share a lot yeah, of pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to, I mean, so many other talents in Instagram and I, it's, it's such a shame if you don't, you know, people doesn't know. So what do you think, Christina? Which one was your, was your favorite? I know I have my favorite, but... Definitely falafel and the hummus. Mohammed? <laughs> Everything. He's got all of it in his mouth. Next on my schedule is uh, Jum'a Al Majid Heritage Center, uh, where people can uh, see uh, our UAE traditional stuff. His Excellency Jum'a Al Majid is a major philanthropist in Dubai, and he established the Jum'a Al Majid Heritage Center as a non profit entity that stores and provides access to old books, maps, manuscripts, and transcripts. One of the most exciting things that I found in one of their exhibition rooms was I found these uh, pieces of gems with the Quran inscribed on it and the thought of human uh, doing that is really beyond my imagination. Then we're going to have some amazing Indian food at India Palace. You've seen uh, since you came to Dubai, I don't know if you know that we have a very large Indian community here as well. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's in fact one of the largest communities it's here. It's the largest community. So I would say probably 50 to maybe even 60% of the population really? is from originally from the Indian subcontinent okay. between India and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Having said that, I think outside of India, you get some of the most authentic variety of Indian food anywhere in the world here in Dubai. It's really cozy and I think the, like the mellow music, it really, I like the mood it sets for the place as well. And over there, as soon as you walk in, there's a guy who's making these plastic bangles, like yeah, from scratch. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? Yeah, I saw it's pretty it. cool, right? So he, he has a piece of coal, and then he has a piece of plastic, and then he melts the plastic and shapes it into these beautiful bangles. Today, I'm having white rice. I'm having the curries. I'm having all the breads with all the butters. I'm having dal. I'm going all out. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are wearing a loose clothes. <laughs> loose clothing. So that's, you know. It's not a coincidence, Christina. <laughs> okay. So what we have here is a mix of kebabs. Mm -hmm. So they gave us some fish, some shrimp, some chicken. That's all like very well marinated. Lafia. Lafia. Bon appetit. Yeah, bon appetit. To be honest, I've been to lots of Indian restaurants in my country, in overseas, but this is the best Indian restaurant I've ever been. I also chose uh, the Baymol Fountains because uh, I love the way the water dances uh, and uh, their taste of music and uh, sitting and watching with my friends. I think what's amazing about the Dubai Fountain is how man has turned it into an art form. The way they've managed to sync the water with the music and even the colors, you just want to stare, you just want to watch. You know, it's, it's just mesmerizing. So the fountains actually dance to the music, which is a very nice thing to see. You actually get an opportunity to sit at any one of, I would say probably two dozen restaurants that are on the Dubai Fountain. You can sit there, enjoy your food, and you can enjoy the show as well.
Next thing in my schedule is uh, Ali Jazza restaurant, which by the way means uh, a holiday in English. My friends told me about this restaurant, which, uh, which uh, they serve uh, really tasty food. Ijaz is probably one of the most popular cafeterias in Dubai right now. So if you want a quick sandwich and a quick juice, that's your go-to place. People go to Ijaz cafeteria for different reasons. They've been in operation for 25 years. My favorite is their juices. And finally, we're gonna end the day with some late night skiing at Ski Dubai, the world's largest indoor ski park. I haven't done a snowboarding before. This instructor is really nice and told me what to do and um, but the thought of going down the slope with that slippery thing uh, gives me a bit scary feeling. I've I've never skied before at all. But once you get the hang of it, it's really a lot of fun. I'm not good at balance sports. Okay, I'm looking that way. I'm looking that way, but I'm going that way. And if I do pull it off, it's a fluke. What? Hashtag wipeout. This trip has been awesome and it's something that I would remember for the rest of my life.